As many of you know, I'm a big fan of Wii Hot Tools, uh, namely their screwdrivers. I just think that the forging and the craftsmanship are top notch. I'm probably a fanboy of a lot of German made tools. Uh, just the quality is just really, really good. Uh, I'm sick of buying uh, cheap tools that are just going to break down on me over time, uh, such as the Stanley one. You can see the, the head on that one just already warping. Uh, I'm tired of buying tools that are just going to throw away after a few uses. I like buying lifetime purchase tools. And with Weha, I'm very comfortable uh, with when I buy a screwdriver or any kind of tool that they make, I'm going to have it for life. Uh, well, Weha doesn't just make screwdrivers, they also make other tools. And so for this particular video, I wanted to focus on one of their sets that I recently saw online for just a great price. So this video is going to feature the Weha 7-piece insulated industrial pliers and driver set. Comes with a pouch over here. You have seven different tools and we're going to go into all of them in detail. So let's get started now with this product review featuring the Weha 7-piece set. Over the years, I have slowly but surely been transitioning my hand tools over to what some call heirloom tools or generational tools. I firmly purchased tools based solely on what I could afford at the time, which were often of the made in China variety. However, I quickly became frustrated with the quality issues that arose from purchasing tools based primarily upon cost than on craftsmanship and quality. In moving forward, I want the tools that I now purchase to be of the quality that will someday be passed down to the next generation of my family. If it takes me longer to build up my tool arsenal, so be it. I am no longer sacrificing quality for cost, and I wish my tools to yet be top quality when in the hands of my descendants. There is something really, really cool about the idea of a father passing down his tools to his children. Some put them in their wills in order to avoid sibling squabbling after their passing. I like seeing old black and white photos of the older generation when they were younger working with their tools in their shops. In the United States, they frequently would be using old craftsman tools from Sears. Today, you will see those same tools in the shop or garage of that person's son, grandson, daughter, or granddaughter. Long after the original owner has shuffled off this mortal coil, their tools still live on and are being used for new projects. A piece of the original owner lives on. It's fascinating to think about how many times that old hammer has been used and the stories it could share if it could speak. How many times was that old screwdriver used by your father or grandfather long ago? I want my tools to be like that. I want them to be part of my legacy to my children as family heirlooms. No matter how much things change in the world, the basic high quality tool will always be of use. I don't want my son to inherit a bunch of crappy made in China tools. I want him to be proud and say, these are the tools my father passed down to me and someday I will pass them down to you. That is what I consider to be an heirloom tool. That is what I expect now from tool manufacturers such as Snap-on, Klein, Nipex, Weera, and in this video, Weha. Here are all the tools that are included in the Weha 7-piece tool set. As you notice, they all have those insulated handles, and those are designed uh, to be used by electricians. Uh, they're rated up to 1,000 volts, which you see on all the handles here. I believe that Weha test them up to 10,000 volts. So let's start off first here on the tool on the left. So we have the 8-inch combo pliers. I'm going to try to do some close-ups. Hopefully the camera uh, remains in focus so you can see the craftsmanship of them. So as you, as you notice, the uh, these combo pliers kind of have a unique design to them. It almost looks warped, but uh, really what we has designed is that they want the main uh, points of uh, force being applied on that top point there, that top point there, and then the middle notch there. And uh, that's how they, that's their design of their combo pliers. So there's a quick close up there. So uh, next we have our 6.3 inch uh, long nose pliers. So I'll do another close up. I always like looking at the point of these ones to see how they match up and line up nicely. So those are our long nose. We also have some 6.3 inch diagonal cutters or dikes. We'll take a quick look at the bezel, the top there, and then here's a look in the back. Again, we're gonna go test all of these uh, later on in the video. And then we have four of the famous Weha screwdrivers. So we have two slotted and we have two Phillips. They're all indicated on the top of the handle, uh, like you'd expect, and then also on the side. So we have our, our three millimeter and our 4.5 millimeter slotted screwdrivers. And then we have our Phillips number one and number two screwdrivers, also indicated on the top and on the sides. Let's take a quick little look at the heads of these. So these are all the tools that are included in this set. We're going to run through test scenarios of all of them, although I'm not going to beat them up too much because I like to give away this set to a viewer at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. 
So the current price of this Weha 7 piece set is around $80 on Amazon and some other tool sites. Uh, I imagine that's going to be subject to change. I think that the suggested retail price of uh, all of these tools is uh, well over $100. Uh, just to give you a quick price comparison. So uh, right now I kind of think that these 8 inch combo pliers are the, the only full size tool that you really get in this set. And then you get the 6.3 inch uh, long nose and cutters. Uh, but you could get a the three-piece set of all the eight-inch versions, so the eight-inch combination pliers, the insulated uh, long nose pliers for eight-inch version, and the eight-inch of the dykes, and that costs ninety dollars on Amazon, which is a, a good price for this quality of tools as well. Uh, so you're getting for eighty dollars, you're getting the shorter versions, uh, the full-size versions, and you're getting those four screwdrivers. So I'm not sure when that will be changing or if it will, uh, but it's definitely a good price at the time of this video. So there's slight differences in the manufacturing of the screwdrivers versus the pliers by Weha. When you look on the handles over here on the Weha screwdrivers, they'll all say made in Germany. Let me see over there. Uh, everything on the screwdrivers are made in Germany, uh, which I like. Uh, with the pliers, uh, Weha it goes through a different kind of manufacturing. Uh, the forging is made in Weha Vietnam. The packaging is by Weha USA. And then the design and tooling uh, to DIN and ISO standards is by Weha German, Germany. So they're designed in Germany. The forging is done in the Weha Vietnam a facility, and then they're packaged here in the U.S. So you won't see any of the made in Germany on the pliers. Uh, and I believe uh, previously it was Swiss made, German designed, and now it's more uh, Vietnam made, German designed. Uh, but we'll talk about that more in the pros and cons section. But that's just a special note on the differences between uh, their pliers versus their drivers. During my testing of the Weha 7P set, I found that the tools performed how I was hoping they would, which is really, really good. Starting off first with the screwdrivers. I just really like Weha screwdrivers. They're awesome. I really like how the weight's distributed on them. And having those insulated handles definitely provides you with peace of mind when working with anything electrical, like any kind of circuit breaker. It's not going to be the last time that you worked on that circuit breaker. With the long nose pliers, uh, they're able to get into those tight spots that you would expect of a tool of this size. They're not the longest long nose pliers out there, uh, but they'll do the job for many different tasks. On the cutters, they're able to cut through small wires with no problem like butter. They're not going to be like bolt cutters or anything like that uh, that you're going to be able to do a large cutting with, uh, but for smaller size cutting, uh, it, it does the job. And then lastly, with those eight inch combination pliers, uh, they're, again, they're the larger of the tools that are included with this set. So you're able to handle much larger jobs with them and that you definitely get a lot of force down uh, with whatever that you're going to be clamping with it. So in my testing, I thought that the tools performed well. Now let's start going through the pros and cons, starting off first with the pros. So the number one pro that I have with this Weha 7-piece tool set is just the quality. We're just talking top-notch quality here with their tools, the craftsmanship, the forging. They're just really, really good. They're built to last. You're going to have these for a long, long time, and you'll probably pass them down to the next generation. So the just the top-notch quality is just the best pro regarding this tool set. I think that the price is really affordable right now at $80. Uh, that's probably subject to change. I'm not sure if it's going to change a month from now, a year from now, five years from now. But right now, at the time of this video, $80 for the seven-piece tool set with the kind of quality from Weha is going to be really hard to beat. Yeah, you could probably get a maybe a the hundred piece Stanley tool set somewhere online or at Walmart or something. And again, these are just designed to work a couple times and then start failing on you. You're not going to have that problem with Wee Hot tools. Next, I, I really like that the handles are rated for a thousand volts. So if you're an electrician, that's definitely going to provide you with peace of mind. So you're not going to shock yourself when you're working with a circuit box or anything like that. So I do definitely like the insulated handles. The, with the next pro that I have is just the Weha screwdrivers are arguably uh, one of the best, if not the best, in the business today. They're just awesome screwdrivers. I can't say enough about them. The, the handles, the heads, the everything about it, the appearance. I just really, really like their screwdrivers. And uh, the last pro that I have is just, I think it's a great starter kit for anyone starting to get into Weha tools and you want to start building up your collection. The choice of tools that they included in this tool set are nice ones. So having some screwdrivers, having some cutters and suppliers, it's a, just a great way of, of starting to build up your tool set instead of having to buy everything individually, which would probably cost a lot more. So just a, a great little starter kit to getting into Weha tools. And that's everything I have listed for the pros. Now let's start going through the cons. So the number one con that I have listed is that I feel that the size choices for the tools are a little strange. Basically you have small screwdrivers and large pliers. So you have these nice large eight inch uh, combination pliers and then you have a tiny little screwdriver like this slotted one that you see here. I feel that if this, this particular tool set is designed mainly for electricians to use, that's why you have that 1000 volt uh, rated handles on there. I feel that electricians would wanna have a larger size uh, screwdriver available. So, I mean, just look at the difference here between 
between uh, this long beefy one made by Klein Tools here and then the smaller size uh, slotted that you have with the Weeha set. And then with the Weeha screwdrivers, basically you're getting uh, the 4.5 millimeter slotted and then you're getting the, the PH2 for the Phillips. And those are the largest screwdrivers that come with the set. I think that an electrician will want to have larger sizes available, so maybe a PH4 then. So as you see here, it's just the difference between the sizes there on the Phillips versus the slotted there. So I just think uh, larger screwdrivers would be nice. And the same goes for some of the other tools. So, for example, with the long nose pliers that we have over here, I, I probably like these tools the best out of all the pliers and cutters that are included with the set. Uh, but I feel that whenever I need to use long nose pliers or needle nose pliers, I want to have the most reach as possible. I just think having a larger, longer reach, like what you get with these uh, Nipex uh, ones, would probably be uh, better suited for uh, electrical work. Again, assuming that this is designed for electricians to use, I just think and having that extra reach would be uh, more beneficial. And then uh, next with the combo pliers, uh, these are pretty beefy pliers and for some electrical work I think maybe you'd want to have a smaller set of pliers, maybe something similar to this uh, snap-on um, uh, duckbill pliers that you see over here which are a little bit smaller. You don't have the insulated handles but I think you might be able to reach some additional areas that these ones might be a little bit too large for. And then uh, last with the, with the dikes over here, you have the 6.3 uh, inch dikes over here, which are, are, are nice dikes. I think that an electrician would probably want to have a larger set of cutters. These ones are made by client tools, even though they both open up pretty wide, as you see here. Uh, the comparison of it, but just having that extra reach, the extra torque available uh, with cutters is probably going to be more preferred for an electrician. And that's, again, assuming that this set is designed uh, for electrical work. The next con that I have listed is that the insulated handles make the seam best served for electricians again, but the sizes might not necessarily be best for the job. So if you're not an electrician, for example, maybe you don't want to have large handles like this. Maybe you want to have more uh, precision based handles that are a little smaller, uh, maybe easier to grip. And the same goes with all the tools that we see over here. So uh, this again, this is designed more for electricians. Weha does make these, these tools with non-insulated handles to them. Uh, but for some people that are buying this set because of the price and want to get into Weha tools, the handles might not be best served for the kind of jobs that they're going to be doing. The next con that I have listed is the tool pouch is just way too small in my opinion. Uh, I would probably just buy the tools for the tools themselves and not really use the tool pouch. I think it stores everything in there but it's kind of a snug fit and if you're working on a site you're probably not going to want to use uh, this tool pouch. You probably want to use a larger one that makes easier access uh, for all the tools in here. So it's nice that they included it in here. The quality is, uh, I don't have any problems with the quality, I just think that it's a little bit too small for all the tools that are included in this tool set. So I would again just buy the tools and put it in your your toolbox drawer. The last con that I have listed is the differences between the manufacturing sites of the pliers and cutters uh, versus the screwdrivers. Again, the screwdrivers are completely made in Germany uh, with that made in Germany sign to them, uh, but the pliers and cutters are made in Weha, Vietnam, even though they're using German designs and they're packaged here in the United States. Uh, it just makes me a little suspicious of the forging, even though I haven't noticed any kind of negativity or anything bad with the forging. It just makes me a little suspicious. I prefer having my hand tools uh, be completely made in the country that they were designed in. So with my uh, Klein tools, for example, I like seeing Klein tools completely made in the USA. Uh, the screwdriver is made in the USA. Same with the other tools. So uh, with the snap-on tools, I want to see that made in the USA sign on that. Uh, with uh, the Nipex tools, I want to see made in Germany on there. And with Weha tools, I just like seeing the made in Germany as well. Uh, it, for me, it'd be like uh, going to uh, Vietnam and seeing a German restaurant there. I, I just would be a little suspicious of it that it's not going to be of the same quality or vice versa going to Germany and seeing a Vietnamese restaurant. It might be the best Vietnamese restaurant in the world. It just makes me suspicious that it's in, in Germany. So I, I just like having my hand tools be completely made in the country of origin, although I haven't noticed any kind of negative forging or anything uh, with the Weha Vietnam. It's just a personal preference of mine on hand tools. That's going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I like to give away this particular tool set to a viewer. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway contest is leave a comment below in the comment section regarding this video and then list out what your ideal seven piece tool set would be. So list the seven items that you would want in a tool set and you can list them by type of item, manufacturer, and size. I'll select the winning comment in 72 hours from the posting of this video. And just to make it a little bit more fun, let's avoid any kind of combination tools like a multi-bit screwdriver, multi-tool, just dedicated tools. So if we all happen to watch this video, uh, they could see the type of tools that the viewers would like to see in a seven-piece tool set. 
In summary, I do feel that this tool set qualifies as heirloom tools. The quality and craftsmanship is there. Sure, the Phillips screwdriver heads will start rounding out over time, uh, which happens with most Phillips screwdriver heads. Uh, but I feel that the quality is good enough to last for many, many good years and most likely be able to be passed down to the next generation. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring the Weha 7-piece insulated industrial tool set. See you guys next time.